As you all know, Google Drive has a bunch of really powerful sharing tools built in. But did you know that you have the ability to publish a Google Doc as a web page? This is a really cool built-in feature that's useful if you want to share a document with very, very large numbers of people or if you'd like to embed a doc in your website. So let's take a look at how this works. So to publish a Google Doc to the web, all you've got to do is open the doc and simply go to the file menu and select publish to the web and this box pops up. We get a few options here. One is we have the button to actually publish this. We have the link and embed options and then there's this published content and settings drop down which gives us a couple of check boxes. The first one is really not relevant to a regular Gmail account. This has to do specifically to my company's G Suite account. If you don't have a G Suite account, you won't see this. And the second one is pretty cool. It says automatically republish when changes are made. So anytime I make a change to this document, the published version of it will update automatically, which is going to be really useful if, for example, you use this Google Doc to make a weekly schedule that you share with a whole bunch of people. Well, you can go and update the weekly schedule for next week's schedule. And then anybody that has this link would simply reload the page and it would be updated with your changes, which is pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and publish this. A box pops up that says, are you sure you want to publish this selection? You hit okay. And now we are published and we get a link and we can share that link either by copying and pasting it or sharing it directly through Gmail, Facebook, or Twitter. Um, in addition, we also get this HTML code, which is embed code. So that would actually allow me to embed this document within my, let's say my company's website or another website, um, which is a pretty cool feature. Again, if you want to have, let's say a schedule or some regularly updated information embedded in your website, you can use this HTML code to do that. So let's copy the link and open up a new tab and see what this looks like. Now, you'll notice that it does not look like a Google Doc anymore. It's just the document embedded in this web page. Uh, one thing you'll notice in the top right, it says update automatic, updated automatically every five minutes. So if I was to go and change the original Google Doc, we actually wouldn't see the changes for a few minutes. Um, that's there's like a slight delay on it there, but we can browse through this and look at it. There's no way to edit edit this at all because it's no longer a Google Doc. It is actually a web page, which is really, really cool. So now I could share this link. I could use the embed code to put this in my website, update the information as needed as we go, and it would update automatically both embedded in the site and in this link. Now, the other thing that's really cool about this is this publish to web, web function works in not only Google Docs, but it also works in Google Slides as well as Google Sheets. So this is a uh, slide deck of an ideation workshop I taught so we'll go ahead and publish this to web and see what happens now we get the same box with a couple of extra options uh, we have the auto advance slide option which means that it will move through through the slides automatically every three seconds um, and we can actually start the slideshow as soon as it loads which is pretty cool and have it loop so let's do that let's let's have it move every second so it moves a little bit more quickly and let's start the slideshow automatically and restart the slideshow at the end of it and we're going to go ahead and publish this and so now we've got the link and the embed code as well and actually with the uh, google slides we get different um, slide size options which is really cool but at any rate let's grab the link and see what this looks like so i'm gonna load this up and we get our uh, first slide, our second slide. Obviously this is moving really fast because I set the slide duration to one second, but essentially what I've done is created an auto playing, auto looping slideshow that's published to the web. So I could simply send this link out and the slideshow will run automatically in loop if needed. This is gonna be really useful if let's say you put together some slides um, that you want to loop, let's say at like a trade show or something like that. Well, you can make your slide deck in Google Slides, you can publish it to the web, have it loop, and then have a laptop at your table at a trade show and just have this looping automatically rather than having to put that together in some kind of video editing software, which is great. Um, we can also do the same publish to, to web with Google Sheets. This is just a little weekly content calendar for the stuff that we publish to YouTube. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish this to the web. I can um, link and embed it as well. I can do the entire document or a specific uh, tab. So let's grab the one that we're currently on. And I can do this as a uh, comma separated value, tab separated value, PDF, or as a web page. So I'm gonna publish this as a web page. It asks me if I'm sure. Let's copy the link and then check out what this looks like. So again, I've got a web page of this. I uh, can't make any changes to it. 
like before, it's updated every five minutes. So if I was to go in and update something in this calendar, um, it would update in five minutes, which is pretty cool. So, um, you know, with any Google document that's created in Google Drive, you have the ability to publish this to the web with a bunch of other options as well. Now, keep in mind, if you ever wanna unpublish a document that you've shared, all you need to do is go back to that file menu, select the publish to web option, and there will be an unpublish button and that will take that down off of the web. So this is a really, really useful feature. Again, if you wanna make a schedule or some other document where you need to update information regularly and share it with a whole bunch of people, especially if you wanna um, embed it in your website. That's a really, really cool built-in feature. So that's all I've got for you today. As always, hit the subscribe button. We release new tech tips every weekday at noon, as well as two live stream projects every weekday at 10 and two. And check out the DAE.com for our full list of online workshops, private lessons, and all the other great offerings that we have related to technology. And if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me create, throw it in the comments. Thanks and have a great day.